to drop curb back at Bastard's Recreation Ground. Those of us who, or indeed all of us who went to um, uh, Mayor's show will see that, uh, had the, that the entrance to Bastard's now, now has a drop curb. The only problem is it's not big enough. Uh, which is a little sad. I mean, it's a start, but it's not actually big enough. It's not wide enough, and you still have ruts. Um, as soon as you leave the pavement, uh, you, you can get stuck in ruts. So we have a um, proposal on the back of the briefing paper um, to, uh, from the people who actually did um, the original work um, to rectify it, want a better word. Uh, and the third question is, do we want to go ahead with that? Councillor Howe. Yeah, I, I, I think there's two points to be raised here. Obviously, firstly, do we have the budget for this? And secondly, when we were at the Mayor's show, I think that they've done it too steep anyway because it was bottoming cars out. I think we should get the contractor to come back and look. As they've done the drop curve, it goes up to a high point, and at that point where it goes over the grass, it's bottoming cars out. So I do think they should <coughs> come back and have a look at what they've done. Um, but I'd be interested to know, that, you know, we probably could get away with it this year because we haven't got any other major events other than the picnic and there's, a, there's no large vehicles going on. Um, whether we've got it in yeah. the budget for this year. Okay, first of all, uh, to pick up on the point, the first, sorry, I asked the second point you made, which was, um, as I understand it, if they, if they do tarmac from pavement to the gate, that should, should get over that. Yeah, that's what they're saying. There is a difference in levels, um, and that will be resolved by. So you know, at the moment the drop curb stops at the end of the curb, yeah. doesn't it? And then when it, where it hits our land, they're saying yes, there is a difference in levels, but you would have to raise up the level of the land, and that's what part of this quote is oh, about. Okay. Yeah. yeah, to stop that bottoming uh, out. Okay. Um, so they they're saying they did what was in the original specification of putting yeah. in a standard drop curb. Before they come back on that, is that the second question yeah, to incorporate exactly. that exactly. extension to the gate? Exactly. Okay. And then uh, your second question was uh, the, uh, was um, the funding. We do have an open space reserve, which we reserve in the 2017-18 account. So yes, we do have the funding. Oh, okay. Councillor Tyler, can we get one of the gardens maybe to look at the ruts that lead up to the tarmac? Right? Because I think that's part of the problem. <coughs> you know, if we levelled off that mud with the trucks went out when the ground was wet. <coughs> the dips they caused is what was caught. If, if it was all one level, they might get onto the tarmac a lot better. So could we look at that first and is it something that our gardeners might look at? So you're, you're suggesting that we just fill in the ruts? <coughs> first. And then see if we actually need, need to that next bit. Because it's extension. possible. Because I think the, because they laid down low in the ruts it, as they were going up, you have got this difference in height, but it was because they were low because of the rutting that made them catch. If we could level that off, repair the damage from the trucks. On, on the muddy bit, <coughs> that might resolve it. But we still need to extend um, uh, Well, it, yeah, the drop curve. We do need to extend uh, the width, yeah, yeah. but we don't need to go in, we might need to go any further back. What do people think about that, idea? Councilman Howe? Um, I, I, I understand entirely what you're saying. Um, obviously, we have particularly a, a, a particularly lot of rain. I mm. say that in English. A considerable amount of rain this year, uh, which made the ground very, very wet. Obviously, mm. uh, and actually, the fair ground went on, and then the rain came. Yeah, so it wasn't as if we could stop them going on because of the ground. So, uh, and that caused the ruts. If we have the same problem again, we could end up just keep filling it with mud yeah, all yeah. the time. That is the concern that I have, obviously, thinking with my events chairman hat on, making sure yeah. that the facility is functional for all the events that we want to put on. I can see this as being a one-off cost to, cost to ensure that that doesn't happen in the future by taking the tarmac right the way to the gate, as opposed to where you're talking about those ruts, yeah, the tarmac will be extended. Yeah, but beyond that, at least you're over that drop curve, no. I would think that that's, uh, uh, and I think then we might be able to backfill those a little bit and it wouldn't be so expensive. So I can understand where you're coming mm -hmm. from. I'm wondering whether we would continue to just keep filling yeah, it and spending more yeah. money as opposed to resolving the problem Once for once and for all. That was just a concern that I was thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say exactly the same thing. It, uh, whilst, of course, ruts make it worse, mm -hmm. but if we're going to have people out there to do it, and they have to come out again and bring their group yeah. and another lot of money, so let's make a good, good job of it and get it done. And it's going to take eight weeks, and they, they say eight weeks, but they'll have a lot of work over the summer. 
and we want it ready for the next event, so for goodness sake, let's do it. Mm -hmm. it's three grand, isn't it? <coughs> okay, so we have a proposal. Proposed. Thank you. Uh, do you have a second of that? All in favour? Uh, Councillor Howell, all in favour? Thank you.